Hello friends, in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about how to integrate a health kit into your application. So for doing that, we already know that we have a health application installed on our iPhones or iPads. So here, in order to use this health kit information, for the demo purpose, what we are going to do is, we are going to enter few details in our health kit, which I have already entered, the date of work, and the blood type. So this information we are going to fetch from our application. So for doing that we have to perform few steps. So whenever you want to integrate to a health kit application you require authentication from your health kit. There are two major steps that need to be performed for authenticating to the health kit. The first thing is in your info playlist you have to assign two privacy policies one is health update usage description and another is health share usage description you can provide any meaningful string over here this will authorize your application to use your health kit and the second thing you have to authorize call a request authorization method in your application once you have specified the info playlist data about the privacy you have to go to your application go to capability and select the health kit option previously by default it will be off you need to set it on so that all the entitlement files which are related to your health kit will be set for the demo sake i have added two labels where i am going to retrieve the age and the blood group from the health app and i am going to display it over here i have two button one is authorized which will perform my authorization and the second is get detail which will fetch the detail from my health kit app and display it over here. In order to work with health kit you have to import the health kit framework in your application. So you have to type in import health kit. Once you have imported the health kit framework you are going to create a store a health kit instance store from where you are going to fetch the information. So I have created my health kit store with the variable name health kit store. Now in order to speed up our demo thing, I have already added the authorization method. The request authorization is the name of the method which has to be performed on the health kit. So what authorization basically we require? So we require the authorization based on the read write permissions. Because our health kit store contains lot of information about our health. It contains our body measurements, it contains our workout details, it contains the basic information like our date of birth, our sex, our blood group and all such information. So every time we don't require each and every piece of information. That's why in the authorization method you are going to pass two important things that which all values you are going to write to your health kit store and what are the values you are going to read from the health kit store. So these two variables are basically a set health kit type to read and health kit type to write. For the demo purpose as we are going just to read the application so here I am going to pass a set of object wherein I have two characteristics type of HK object type. Characteristics type are the objects which are directly written in the application. Quantitative type are the values like height, weight, which will be categorized as quantitative type. So here we are going to work with the characteristics type that describes the characteristics of a person. And we are going to pass in the identifier, HK characteristics type identifier. As you are going to fetch age and blood group, so for age you need to fetch the parameter name date of birth and for blood group the name of the parameter will be blood type. You need to make sure that it is written in the form of sets. Since we are not going to write any information from our application into the health kit store so we are keeping this value as empty. Now before performing the read operation we need to check whether such variables exist in our health kit store or not. So you are going to call your is health data available which will provide us whether we have our data in the health kit store irrespective of what read and write value you have provided over here 
once you are sure that you have a data you can call your request authorization once the authorization method is been called here in the success you will be getting true if your authorization has been succeeded so here i am not performing any check operation there will be not many error handling which needs to be done when you are writing an application this is just to provide you an information on how you can authorize to an application and how you can read the data so now i have written the authorized code on the button click of authorize i am going to call this authorization method now once you run your application you will be taken and you click on the authorize button it will ask you to authorize those values for which you have you need a read permission so you can see you have the authorize button over here when you click on the authorize button it will take you to the next page where you need to specify that what all data you want to read since we all have to read the blood type and date of birth i am just selecting those values and i am setting it to allow so my health app will allow me to read those values so this is about the authorization now in order to fetch the data you need to call the health kit store you need to fetch the variables from the health kit store so it is very simple again i have written a method to fetch the data from the kit health kit store so basically the health kit store has all the data in the form of properties so this is the name of the our health kit store from which we are going to fetch date of birth so the only method which required to get the data is this health kit store date of birth component so this will provide you the birth date of the person when the year month day format so now the all remaining code has been written for fetching the age of the person so once you have your birth date i am going to find the current year and i am going to calculate the age based on the current year and the birth dates here so this will provide me the age since this application or this method throws an error so you have to write it in a do catch method similarly for fetching the blood type you need to just call health kit store blood type this will provide you the blood type of the person i am i have created a function which is going to return a tuple of age and blood group so i have i will be returning those values from here so now we are going to call this read profile method to fetch the blood type and the age and display it on our label so on the text label we are going to display the age but for the blood group the blood group as you can see is of type hk blood type object so in order to display it in a string format i have just written a small method which will convert my blood type into the string so here i am fetching the blood type and based on the type whether it's a positive a negative b positive i am just converting it into the string format and i am just returning it back so my get readable blood type method will just convert the type into the string value so here what i am going to do is i am going to call my label blood group dot text is equal to self dot readable blood type and here i am going to pass the blood type objects type that is blood type so in this way when you run your application this time you don't have to authenticate it again or authorize it again because once the authorization is done your application will perform the read write operation as many times as possible so once you open your application and you click on the get details button you will be able to fetch the details from the medical kit or the home application as you can see you are getting the data it seems 
it's an optional value we need to specify an exclamation mark now so you can see when you click on the get details button you will be able to fetch the age and the blood group so this is how you can fetch the information from the health kit in order to write the data back to the health kit you need to watch our second video which will be coming soon thank you thank you for watching my videos if you like my videos please provide me the comments and for more videos you can visit us at http tacticsolutions.com/mobile this is our website where you can find more interactive videos and uh, various trainings available thank you so much